Nine million people in the city, all of them accident prone. The broken banister, the burning nightdress, the crashing car. We dial three figures and take it for granted that wherever the point of the suffering, they will soon be there. Sooner or later, it'll be your turn or mine. We'll find ourselves in the hands of the ambulance man. And the way they handle us may mean the difference between a quick return to health and being crippled for life. The ambulance crew usually arrive at the scene of an accident as saviors, as heroes. People have been awaiting their arrival with desperate anxiety and hope. But do those waiting people realize who or what they are waiting for? Are they expecting able substitutes for doctors? Or are they expecting truck drivers glorified by a uniform? What kind of men are they who have deliberately chosen to make their daily task an endless round of other people's pain? What can they do? How much do they have to know? Just how thick-skinned do they have to be? They can never know just what form of agony they might be dealing with five minutes from now. Okay. RTA. Westbourne Park Road, West 2. What they do know for certain is that every call sends them heading for trouble. This is an accident substation in North Kensington, where they have two emergency crews standing by in the daytime and one at night. Bill Lilly and Ian Bulldog are setting out for an RTA, a road traffic accident. This, like all the emergencies recorded in this film, is authentic. There's nothing special either about the accident or the crew. Just two ambulance men out of 2,500 in the city answering a 999 call. In London, there are 1,500 such calls every day, an average of one a minute round the clock. With a, an accident or emergency of any kind, we don't know what, you know, what we're going to find until we get there. So obviously we've just got to get there as quickly as possible. Well, we are exempt from the speed limits and uh, we're exempt from parking and stopping restrictions. Obviously, we might have to stop in the middle of the road or something like this. Bill Lilly drives to the limit of his skill. On the way, he'll go as fast as he can. But if he crashes, no one will sympathize. No one else will carry the can. I saw a, you know, a car on one side of the road and a motorcycle out from the left-hand side of the road and the chappy lying by the motorcycle and he'd obviously collided with the car. Exactly what happened, do you know? You approach sort of as calmly as possible and it gives the patient confidence because people who've seen the accident tend to be a little more emotional about it than you do. Hello. 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 Hello.